Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! St. Cappy, who nailed himself to the cross, which would be very difficult to save you kids from majoring in stupid shit. Uh, hey Aaron, I would like a video response and to please keep me anonymous. I'm 19 years old and I'm a sophomore at a university. Are you Canadian? It sounds Canadian. Let me see where this school is. I want to say it's Canadian. Oh wait. Uh... Oh, it's not. You're an American. All right, never mind. Uh, I'm currently a math major. I've been considering changing my major to civil engineering. That's good. I am also interested in becoming a statistician. The problem is that both seem like decent careers and that I'm not sure which one to choose. I've done research on both careers and civil engineering has more jobs available and better stability, but I think I would enjoy being a statistician more. Truthfully, I have an intellectual interest in math and both careers have a decent amount of them. But between the skills that are relevant <coughs> to both careers, I'd rather do programming than physical me uh, mechanical physics. My options are to either switch my major to civil engineering and work that career or continue being a math major and then get a master's degree in statistics. Oh, more school. And then to work as a statistician. My question to you is which career track should I pursue? Thanks and let me know if you need any more information. Uh, he said, uh, well, when you say statistician, that's awfully vague. Does your college have an actuarial science program or data science? And how proficient and interested are you in programming? Also, why civil en why did civil engineering make your list? Or the traits that made it more interesting to you than, say, mechanical or electrical engineering? Uh, <clears throat> my, college, my college does not actually have an actuarial science program at all. And they only offer a master's degree in data analytics. Okay, well, then get the fuck out of that school if you decide to go the math route. When it comes to program, I'm okay, and I'm interested enough in it to maybe learn more about it in my free time. The reason I prefer civil engineering over other types of engineering is because, from what I've seen, it's the most broad type of engineering with multiple sub-disciplines. That way, if I got a, I got a job in one sub-discipline and didn't like it, then I could easily switch to another. And to be honest, I heard it was the easiest type of engineering, <coughs> although I've realized that the difficulty is almost irrelevant once I know that all STEM degrees are hard. Yeah, I mean... It is easier, but that's like, well, it's easier to fly the F-16 than it is the F-18. I, It's the same amount of difficulty, so you might as well take what's more interesting. Okay, um, here's the problem that I face, is I can't answer this question for you because you just need to research the two degrees more. There's some caveats and weaknesses and pros and cons to both, but it's gonna inevitably you're gonna have to go and research some more. So what I strongly recommend you do is go to Matt Tran's channel, Engineer Truth, and search and see if he's interviewed statisticians, actuaries, data science people, people who have a background in statistics, and then civil engineers, and find out what which is more to your liking. Because the good news is either way you go. Uh, you're going to get a good job or you're going to ha statistically likely to have a good job. They're both fine careers. So this isn't like you coming up to me like some, uh, you know, suburbanite princess. <laughs> and you're like, no, go the fuck away. And that's every conversation I have with a suburbanite princess. Uh, so here's, here's my, my main concerns. One, statistics like math or physics or just a general STEM degree that's not applicable. You need to have a skill at the end of it. So since if you decide to go to the statistics route, the math route, you're going to have to change career, uh, careers. You're going to have to change schools. You need to become either an actuary, a data science major, or something like that. So when you graduate, you have your degree. Otherwise, with these gen like physics, math, statistics, chemistry, yeah, you pretty much have to get a master's degree. And even then, it's like, well, you're just going to go and teach. It has to become applicable. So if you're going to go that right route, be prepared to change your degree. I'm 100% with you changing your degree, though. Math is not going to cut it. That's just not going to cut it. Um, you're going to have to get more education on top of it. So I, that's what I would do. I would be going 
and uh, changing uh, 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 schools where they actually offer a degree. And frankly, the school you're mentioning doesn't sound that good. If they have, oh yeah, you can major in math. Well, what the fuck does that get me? Oh, I don't know. Don't ask us. We just want your money. Why don't they have a program that prepares you for a fucking job? That's my main concern about the school you're going to. So I think you're going to have to change. Now, if they have a civil engineering degree, okay, that's applicable. That's practical. Um, <clears throat> but my main concerns with the civil engineering degree, and look this up. Look up the video we did called Why You Don't Want to Become a Civil Engineer. My buddy DT, he hosts, co-hosts with me occasionally on the Clary podcast. And he's worked as a civil engineer. And, dude, it is fucking political. And there's two worlds in the civil engineering world. One is you go work for the actual government, Department of Transportation, where you're obviously billing, or you're contracting for them, because that's who your main consumer is, is, is the government, state, federal, local. <clears throat> and they are all about politics. 50% uh, of his time is dicking around with, well, how do we incorporate diversity? And how do we incorporate fairness and equity? Da, 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 da. It's like, dude, can we build a fucking bridge? It has gotten that bad that the field is no longer functional. So what he's pointed out and what we, we have our conversation about is if you are a minority and you are based on your name, okay, cool, you're gonna get an advantage in civil engineering. The problem is, doesn't matter if, if you yell black or white, we are children in the sight, Jesus loves the little children of the world. Doesn't matter what color you are, if you are a smart man or woman, who the fuck wants to go through diversity training and all this fucking bullshit? So, yeah, you okay, you might get preferential hiring. Yeah, you might get promoted. But half your fucking job is dealing with this bullshit. So that it only, if you're a smarter individual and you really just, because nobody, no fucking body likes sitting in on this unnecessary crap about who does the equity communities with the diversities and the feelings of the twiddly twaddlies. You're going to drive yourself mad. So I'm going <clears> to, <throat> then the second option you have is you go and you work for a private company where you actually do the civil engineering and ever so generally so uh, government work, uh, government work first and foremost is to hire the affirmative action hires in the actual government. This is why when you go to Washington, D.C., it's all fat black ladies who have no fucking degrees or experience in whatever position it is. So when you're working under the affirmative action hires, not just large fat black ladies, it could be anybody else. Again, that's the political stuff. No work gets done there. Then they contract it out to the Asian guys and the white guys got to do all the fucking work, all right? And there the contract is working for a private firm. That's where you uh, are gonna have to end up working because I'm just gonna assume if you tune into this channel, you don't have time for bullshit. Um, so that's a huge caveat with civil engineering, okay? Uh, <clears throat> other civil engineers have written in saying, look, yeah, we know that political bullshit happens, but that's why you go and you work on the consulting side or the real work side. But just to let you know, that's a drawback, you know, uh, because of its, its uh, inevitability being intertwined with government. Uh, you're going to have to deal with that political thing. So then you might be begging and pleading just to be some data analyst programming your models and stay the fuck away from that shit. Um, <clears throat> so... Either or is good. I'm just trying to give you all the drawbacks and you have to do more research and figure it out. But let me go through some of your more stuff here and see if I can like provide any more insight or hint one way or another. Uh, I've been considering changing my major. I found both like decent careers, more jobs available and stability. You would enjoy being a statistician more, have an intellectual interest in math, both careers. Yeah, here's another thing with civil engineering. You're not gonna be doing a lot of math. As an actuarial scientist, as a data analyst, you'll be doing more math and statistics. So if that's your true interest, I'd be going that route. Uh, and then you, you got to choose, you know, do you want to become an actuary? Actuarial science, by the way, has a ton of fucking tests at the end of it, but it does have a job and they make very good money. So maybe evaluate that, see if Matt Tran has something about becoming an actuary. <clears throat> data scientists, um, again, math, a little bit more programming, um, becoming a quant. Uh, you're gonna get, you're gonna scratch your match itch, uh, math itch there. But civil engineering, yeah, you're gonna do a lot of math. You are, but then you, that's what the computers and software is for. You're not gonna be doing it longhand. That's they got, you know, uh, programs that are gonna do that. So you're not gonna be doing a lot of math as a civil engineer. 
Me personally, if I had to recommend one over the other for you, I'd be going the actuarial uh, data science route. Uh, but nothing wrong. But in the and here's another thing, way to look at it. You know, this is where you really got. I can't answer it. Let's say you get you. Oh wow, you get to become an actuary. And man, it's statistics. After a while, you know what? It's still gonna just be a fucking job. So that makes the argument that yeah, civil engineering might be more stable employment. Um, and if you get to my level. You don't care. It's just more time. Like this, Aaron, is this the greatest job in the world? It is. But you know what? I'd still rather be playing video games. I'd still rather be hiking in the Black Hills. Uh, so even if you do get that job and you love math, you're going to be tired of doing math after about six months. And then it's just purely a transaction relationship between you and your career. I don't even mean employer, your career. I give my career X number of hours. They give me X number of dollars in exchange for that transaction of my finite dwindling life. Um, so maybe do a little bit more thinking philosophically about what is the stability more important to you? If, if that's the case, go civil engineering with all the problems we warned about before. If it's math and you it really you want to do something and that's okay, well then probably go the, the actuarial data science statistics route. Uh, but that's that's what I would, I, I mean, if you had to choose now, I'd say go, go the statistical route, but in a practical application and, and change your degree. <clears throat> and it's good you're doing this at 19 years old. It's better than you doing it at 22 and having to go back. So it's, it's good you're doing this now. Um, but uh, yeah, if, if you're just more Machiavellian and you just want a good job and you want to raise, you know, 2.5 kids in the burbs with a white picket fence, then you know, nothing wrong with civil engineering either. So. All right, there you go. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you kids later. Toodles.